I'll read everybody, welcome to Chorus of Salvage. I'm Starty Dog and today we are tackling a 2011 Volvo S60 1.6 Drive E, which is amazing because it's 35 quid a year road tax and does some stupid like 70 miles to the gallon or something. But uh, obviously I've uh, test drove it on a private road and it was actually really, really nice to drive. However, it does have issues. Obviously, it's not going to be perfect. It's from cool parts. If we have some lack of peel here, which I did attack on the slug previously. And I was quite happy with the repair, so I'm quite happy enough to attack that again. I do think this might need reset, because I can see the bracket thing there. But I don't know if that's just standard Volvo crapness or not. Um, people will have to let us know. Also, I don't know if these lights are on. I don't know if this is a light or just the orange because it looks too light but anyway obviously dirty minion needs a clean needs new front tires because these are more bold than i am the back ones are fine they just needed some air in them and they're holding it does have a couple of marks down the side of it here don't really think they'll buff out but it might be able to look a bit better but the main problem this back corner we have a naked light which is already on order a bumper which is already here this time i've actually already checked the spring in there it looks fairly intact from what i can see the interior is actually kind of good condition given the mileage it's got 136,000 on with a bit of a clean and get some more like suppleness back into this leather so it should be canny. In the front, the bolster on the driver's side does have a split in it. So I might even try sewing that, but just really it's just general core parts dirtiness. Um, nothing with it. But other than that, the bumper, the brakes, because yeah, I'm not a scientist, but I don't think brakes are meant to have mould on. So apart from the brakes, uh, it should be canny. Could I? Clean enough car apart from where it's been hit. Anybody knows the best way of getting rid of this chalk marker stuff that they use, please stick it in the comments below because I feel like I've been here for 47 hours. Oh no, the paintwork's all fecked. Aye, clearly just some devil's blood trying to get all this lovely, lovely iron build up off the cart from the many, many years it's had. I suspect it's probably never been sprayed before. Looking a lot clean, obviously it wasn't clean earlier, it was dusty, but you know. <clears throat> there is a random handprint here, which I, it's not off me in the polish, it's just there. I've noticed this cap thing's missing, so I'll try to find one of those. Uh, these scratches down the side have actually lessened a hell of a lot. Roof looks good. Tried taking this light out to replace it, but uh, there's a 50 mil nut, which is basically right in the way, or difficult to get to, I should say. So uh, 
need to get that off. Haven't attacked the interior yet, but a uh, three, two, one. So the interior isn't that dirty, to be honest. It's just where core parts have been. I do have a split on the bolster here, and I don't know if I could use glue or try to stitch out or repair it. Um, I suppose it's all about learning. A bit dusty back here, but uh, there's only one man for the job for this. Get your Henry out. After a long day of cleaning this inside, outside, I'll show you the out inside later on because I can't be bothered in the video. Light fixed. New damaged bumper on. Looks good. However, just like the highlight where I got it from, uh, split and hull. Everybody needs a hull. You can't get the bloody stuff off that they've wrote it on with. On this, proper plastic, ah, right, it's come off. But because they've wrote it on this lovely, expensive, scratchy plastic uh, that Volvo have used, it's stuck on and I cannot get it off. I've tried turps, nail varnish, jet washing it from literally day on it. Nout. So the only thing I can think to do is to wrap it. Never wrapped before. So what could possibly go wrong? Hmm. It looks canny enough. Because obviously, like I say, the bumper is damaged. And I don't really want to get this re-sprayed because obviously it then knacks the rest of the car. So I have to get the rest of the car done because it is damaged on the car but also it means I obviously costs and I'll be working at a loss then but anyway midway through this obviously I'm not expecting this to be absolutely perfect the very first time doing it but thus far it's okay this is going to be a bit of an arse because uh, it goes in flat, comes back out, goes down, then comes in, goes out again. But um, eh, two out of ten so far. What do I do? Right, do I? I've heated that up loads, try to push it up, but it just will not grab. Mm, okay, in the middle, but the far end, it's exactly the same because the way it's curvy. So do I scalpel it, pop it, and hope that it looks better, or do I just leave it like that? But, obviously I haven't trimmed it underneath yet. Definitely looks better than when it says hull. Well, from afar, that looks a whole lot better than hull, 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 hull. Up close, obviously, do still have some air bubbles there. I've got this crease which I cannot get out. That's 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 life, and that's damage behind that part. This one last corner bit, these little bits, just could not get them out for love nor sausage. When I do come to sell the car, I will tell the person that does say hull underneath, and that was my solution. And it'll be reflecting the price, but the car is going to have a brand new clutch. Enjoy this sound. Ooh, pretty sound. So yeah, I think the thrust bearing clutch release thing is knackered on it it's a 30 quid part but you got to take all the clutch out so you might as well replace the clutch at the same time obviously i'm hoping that by having a brand new clutch on a car which is really cheap to run etc it'll help us recuperate some money that's my thinking behind it um but yeah it drives it does honestly drive really nice but then it does that when it's up in gear 
So as mentioned in the previous video, I live in the wonderful northeast and we have rain and lots of it when it happens. And not all superheroes wear capes, however, some mechanics will work in the rain and that's what mine is doing right now. I didn't know all this stuff had to come out to do a clutch, but he gets to have fun and play with nuts and bolts and what more do you want in life? He might not mind getting wet, however, I mind him getting wet. How nice of me. Put it in the comments below. Just so nice, I really am. Obviously that lovely noise, I said it was a thrust bearing thingy thing. Yeah, you loved that action, didn't you? But that is fun. So if anybody wants to win that, you know, do do something. Sad face time. Clutch is in, everything's done. However, car is still making the same noise. So the flywheel is kaputed. Or oh, it's bound to kaput. So even though I should have bought a new one, and got it done at the same time, which would have saved us money. I've now got to pay to have the same job done again, essentially, but for the flywheel. I mean, now I know what to do. I could do it. No, I can't. No, no, I can't. I've had a night to think about it. Being annoyed, reference the clutch, flywheel, jobby job. So I've ordered a new flywheel. Going to have to pay to get the work done again, which obviously is a pain in the hoop. But it is what it is. Live and learn, like I said. So I'm going to get the oil change done now. And then since that thing's actually in the sky today, I'm going to tack this. Now, there is a lip. So I think it is just the lacquer that's thingy because when it's moist, it does go back to black, kind of. So I'm thinking if I tape off down the light and like across this part, and I sand, I don't know if I'm going to do the whole thing or not. Would it be worth doing all of it? Because all of it will keep it uniform, but that's a lot of sanding. <laughs> there, aye. So that's my plan. I think I'll probably thingy it, tape it from there, and then I'll try to fade it out going across here, probably up to that scuff. Maybe it's that one. But if I'm going there, I might as well do the whole thing. Oh, right, time to get this. What's it called? Engine scuttle panel thingy off. Lovely. Just to give you an indication, reference how bald these tyres were. You like threads? It is out with the old. In with the new. And before anybody asks, yes, it did take 27 hours to do. The air filter isn't actually that bad, considering, I mean, that's a bit of a worry. I mean, there's a couple of leaves. Lovely. So uh, try the pond filter. See how dirty that is. I swear, when I did this on the Antara, it was a nightmare as well. And I was sweating the absolute beef off. Same with this. However, my favourite part of the job. <clears throat> Let's see how dirty this pollen filter is. Oh. It's a degree of white. Oh. New one's going to be an arse to get out like, in. Ah, oh, no, that's that's pretty honking. And it comes off on your fingers. Oh, get a new one out. Aye. Does exactly what it says on the tin. Do we believe it? Probably not. It does say here to apply and then wait 24 hours. Let's hope it doesn't mean holding it for 24 hours, eh? Current solution for this was to put glue on and then ram it in the leather cleaner thing and it's held a tiny bit. Tell you what that has done, it's held enough for us to then get more on and pull it across. 
These are question tyres. Obviously I've told you that these tyres are bold as hell. However, it's like the old man one. <laughs> the rear tyres are actually okay. There's quite a lot of tread on them. But they didn't hold air. So, the question is, do I try to get these repaired? They do hold air, but obviously it does gun out. So do I get four brand new tyres for it? It's going to cost 200 quid. Will I see that back in the value when I sell the car? Or do I get them repaired and just get part ones for the front? Which would only be like 60 quid. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. We would 70 quid. Hmm. Let us know what you would do down below. New tyres, brand new tyres all round. Decided it was the best option. Decided to try its leather glue again, this time clamping it like I'm a kid in the 90s who's right. Yeah, clamped. And the survey says. Ooh. I mean, it's dirty. I need to get all that glue off. Well, that's a damn sight better than when it first came. And it was all open. Damn, Evie. Damn. I mentioned doing this in my plan, so instead of cleaning the whole car, I'm going to use some car plan wash and shine. Um, the Polish uh, edition, by the looks of it. And then wash off with some water. Then start sanding. I'm going to start with some 600. I know this might seem a bit aggressive, but like I said, I can, I can peel that off with my finger. So, obviously I'm not going to be able to show doing this fully, I'll kind of just be stages. But, because that's wet, obviously it lessens the 600 grit. And this is just a case of Building it up, building it up, building it up, breaking it down, wearing it down, breaking it up. And keeping that lovely and moist. That's the 600 done. Obviously you can see it's flattened this a bit. There is still a bit of a groove. So obviously you want to lessen it now. I had to scuff these up because you've got to try to blend it in. And it does look awful when you do it. I do plan on polishing this before I lacquer it. Because I think it will work better. Uh, but now I'm going up to 1800, I think. No, 1400. Jumping up to 8000 now. I've attacked the headlights as well. That's why I machine polish it. I can do them. This is a lot smoother. Obviously, this I'm hoping won't need paint. Well, I've sanded a fair bit. Uh, since I've now got to wait for paint to come. So I can flash this before I re-lacquer it. Decided it's the best time to machine polish this. Well that means I've got to clean it again. Yay! Obviously, because I've cleaned the car, it's starting to bloody rain. So I'll wait for this to pass, hopefully, but for people that really care, I'll be using Maguire's compound. I actually prefer turtle wax. But uh, it was on offer. And then to polish it, I'll be using Sonak Polish Wax and Colour. Not 100% certain the camera will pick this up, but when you do this machine polishing, apparently, you start on the top and work your way down. So I've done the roof, I've done this bit, I've done the boot. I was just seeing if you could actually see the difference between here where I've done and that part that isn't done. Obviously, if, no matter how hard I rub there, it doesn't really change. So you can see the shine there compared to there. So it's working. So it's working. It's just hoping that this blooming rain keeps off and I can get it done. Or the clouds don't go away and it gets too hot 
Well, I can't do it because it'll burn the paintwork. Joys of England, eh? Coming to you live from a reflection. Ooh. Oh, many, many hours of hard work. I mean, look at that. I should not have dirty hands. Obviously, this part don't need to address like I just stated before. Here, but definitely has made a difference doing the machine polish. There is some marks down here that I cannot get out, but it would have to be a full spray or replace the doors. And there's just no value in that with having to do the clutch and the flywheel. Hope you enjoyed that little random montage of sparks and spanners. I have managed to do the rear drop links and new shocks. However, I forgot to record doing the shocks because it's like a million degrees. And I don't know if you can tell, I'm a bit cooked. If that's not the most questionable YouTube paint prep area, please link me to the more, a more jankier one. <laughs> Now yeah, wait, here goes nothing. Oops.
So there we have it, another car safe to be back on the road. Technically just needs a strut pin and track rod end. However, the new one can get that because I am sick of putting money into this car. It's also got here, that's got an outstanding dealership information, a range of free repair. Never seen that on a uh, MOT before. But yeah, the new one can deal with that. But as I say, I'm done with putting time and effort and money into this Volvo. Just gotta pray I break even because I need to. However, if you want to spoil it for the next car, you might have already spot it. The eagle eyed people. There it is. However, there's no category on it. So what's wrong? Hmm. To be fair, I haven't got a Scooby Doo. I'm far from happy with this. I've liked it a few times, but the previous damage is proper noticeable. Like really, really noticeable. I should have sanded that a lot more, but I just haven't got the time to do it all again. So I'm gonna try buffering it and see what it comes up like. If it's absolutely turd, I'll have to do it again regardless. Hmm. Is it the best I've ever done? Yes, because I've never done it before. Am I happy with it? No, not really. Looks obviously dull. Looks not like the real paintwork. But uh, it is what it is. I've done my best. And on more expensive cars, it'll be going to a professional body shop. If you look really far in the distance, you can see profit just disappearing over the hill. Well, were you entertained? See, not all uh, thumbnails are clickbaits, people. Yeah, that's been the emotional one the day. I really should, in hindsight, have just sold the car as spare and repairs. As soon as that clutch needed Dean, I'd seen the damage on the front of the car that wasn't on the pictures. I should have just went, get shot. But that means that I've lived and learned, and that's all life is. So unfortunately, the profit from the Antara, gone. Puff the magic dragon and flew away. It has fully Foxtrot Oscar. And why has it done that? Well, let's watch the farmer in the field. And I'll tell you. So basically, the car itself I wanted for 400 quid, however with delivery fees, which I got delivered from Core Parts themselves, and all the fees on top, plus 28 quid for the V5, came to a grand total of £770. Then, <laughs> since then the car has had a service, four brand new tyres, fitted and balanced, rear light, rear bumper, wrap to put on the lower part of the rear bumper where the idiots had wrote on it in that white pen, front bumper, lacquer, paint, if you know how to do a way better job than what I did, please let me know in the comments below because I butchered that, new battery, new rear droplings, new shocks, fuel filter, clutch, <coughs> flywheel, <coughs> <laughs> gasket seal for the flywheel, oil for the gear change, front right shock and springs. And in total I have made approximately a 25% loss overall on this car. Yes, the majority of the profit from the Antara does cover it, thankfully. So I'm near enough back to square one with regards to the money I was willing to put into this from the start. Which was going to be a gamble, and it's life's a gamble. Can't just sit on your... Uh, hoop and do nothing so yeah the Antara was front damage the Volvo obviously you've just seen was rear end damage <laughs> it were Mrs Romsdale <laughs> sorry and as I've shown the spoiler for the Mondeo that's mechanical and they're the three that I really want to try with regards to purchasing cars from core part to see which one made the most profit see if people were put off by cat ends um, and all that loveliness really I do think the Volvo's been a deliberate write off because I think the clutch was maybe going in it obviously the tyres are absolutely goosed and 
at the time I didn't notice but the mileage between MOTs it's only been one year or just over now like 30 months or something was actually 30,000 miles that car's done so I think it's literally been driven into the ground crashed on purpose rode off they've got the payout and then I've been the Muppet that's took us on this journey however life's a journey it's all about making memories and I've made memories for us to share forever now and debt f for me to, to quickly get rid of with the Mondo. But if you've got any advice, please put it in the comments below. Like, subscribe. Let's see where we go on this journey. And hopefully the Mondeo won't be the last one. But until then, this is me, Foxtrot Oscarin.